Hi, it's Philippine. Today I'm doing a video just yesterday. Uh, I'm going to be talking about the predictions and match preview for for, for, for Bolton Wickham. And yeah, let's get into the video. So yeah, so of course today we're talking about my predictions and of course my, you know, the preview on tomorrow's game between Bolton and Wickham. Um, of course, it's going to be a decent game. It's going to be a tough game, of course. Wickham beat us twice last season, of course. Up there's we lost one nil because of Sam Vox, and then as we lost two 0 because we did I think Scowen and someone else scored. Um, yeah, hopefully I think you know get a good result against them. Um, you know, especially anticip anticip <coughs> excuse me the anticipation of the new fan zone opening. If if um, if you don't know that much about the fan zone, it's like this. Thing I think if you're, if you're at, like if you're around about two or three hours early, you can go into this like you know this zone where you can watch past and present games. You can like get food and drink and all that and all that bollocks. Um, yeah, and cause also you know there'll be all the other stuff and yeah. Of course, you know we've had, you know we've renewed our sponsor with Kia, um, and then of course we bring in the junior whites and all that. So there'll be, you know, people, you know, there'll be, there'll be of course the, the people will be, you know, you know when the players leading out, you know, the kids will be like, you know, we're not players and all that, and uh, yeah. So of course, let's get into the game. Of course, Wickham, um, they won three 0 That's the last game they won three 0 Of course, David Wheeler scored, Mimetti as well, and. Uh, Scowen as well scored, of course. Wickham played 4 2 3 1. So they played Wheeler, Grimmer, Tavazoli, Jacobson, and then Gape and Scowen and the two older midfields. And then McClurry, Hogan, Mimetti, you know. McClurry and Mimetti, two wingers in that. Hogan's like a number 10 role, and then of course Zam Vokes up from, of course, fucking brilliant player. And um, yeah, of course, um, of course, we came off the back of a uh, draw with Ipswich, of course. We played 4 3 3. We played so it was Trafford, so uh, it was John Johnston, Santos Jones, Kieran Lee coming back, MJ Williams, Morley, Dapo Charles, and Brad uh, Bradley at the wing, which is a bit surprised about really. I don't know why they play Bradley at the right wing. Um, could have played three foot four one two, would have been decent. Still, we play four at the back, got a decent result out of an Ipswich team who will be up there for promotion this season. Um, you know, there'll be lots of players, you know, lots lot, lot of teams chasing for that promotion. Title, or title, yeah, chasing for promotion, really. Um, yeah, you know, Gary Paysmouth, um, brilliant manager, of course. Um, got Wickham into the play final, you know, lost 2-0 to Sunderland, which was understandable. Um, of course, Wickham, I can fend you know, because he's retired, so, um, yeah. So, I wonder how it pan out, um, but my prediction is a 2-0 win for Bolton, I think we'd, we'd beat them 2-0, I think we'd twat them 2-0, um, I don't know who the scorers would be, um, if I had to guess, probably Dion Charles and, fuck it, Connor Bradley, I think Charles and Bradley to score um, for us, I think 2-0, clean sheet, Trafford pull out all the stops hopefully, um, to We'll see on, you know, tomorrow. And, um, yeah, that's really it. So, yeah, that is really it. So, please leave a like, subscribe, yep, yeah, end the video. You know, leave a like, subscribe. Please turn notifications to make sure you get notified for when I next post. Roll to 400 subscribers, and, yeah. So, please, jump kick a like button. It's big kick a subscribe button. And, yeah, peace out.